Oh, what's up, everybody? Um, decided to do a man drill today. Had a little bit of technical problems, but they weren't that bad. Had to double down on the background. Anyways, let's get to the screen caps and you can see a uh, picture. see when I finished the rough and I decide to size it that it just made that layer really I don't know wacky really extra large and laggy that uh, I think it, it, it might have messed me up because it ended up getting so slow and almost crashing that I closed the file and reopened it and had to do the background twice you see right there when I was trying to resize and position it a little better, just how that line just made it extra large. Just giving you a heads up, for some reason you're having the same issue I'm having where it randomly shoots off these lines. Hit control Z, don't, even if it's rough, just because it can uh, make that layer out of hand. I don't know if you noticed, you'll see here. And this is five times the speed. Every time I have to resize it, how long it takes. If I just would have hit Control Z, I could have kept it, you know, more manageable. The rough looked pretty bad, but I was pretty confident that I was like, eh, once I clean it up, I can make sure it has more charm, is a little more appealing. It was looking a little derpy, in my opinion, in the rough stage. and a lot of it, a lot of the mandrills were all snarling and showing off their big old crazy fangs and there were some cool looking ones but I want more of just like a stoic plain look. I didn't want to be too aggressive. I want to have more of a general appeal with this coloring book, the animals. Not look, make them look all aggressive. Or... And then I came across this one. It's probably, I forgot to put on the, the filter for copy free. So Whoever took that picture, I'm not stealing, I'm just using it as reference. It's a great picture. Looks like he's wearing his formals for school. Something you might not know about me, I love animals. I, I worked in an exotic wildlife sanctuary for a while. It was pretty cool. Reptiles are my fave. I, I got a venomous snake license. 
But anyways, we had primates, we had some macaques, capuchins, spider monkeys and stuff, and and uh, olive gorilla. And we had an opportunity to get a mandrill, and I was all excited, because I thought, hey, if we get a baby mandrill, you know, if he has the right temperament, we could teach him to smoke and wear a suit. I was going to have him be like a bodyguard. I'm smoking cigarettes and drink whiskey. We ended up getting another baby uh, olive baboon, and... Uh, you know, there's a reason why you don't see people working with baboons. They just don't. They're not. They're 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 wild. Kind of like people. You can't only certain animals just aren't meant for domestication. And uh, he was definitely buck wild. As soon as his hormones kicked in, we had to put him in his uh, in his own enclosure. Couldn't really interact with him anymore. Turned into a butthead. But it was fun while he was a baby, kinda. You know how toddlers are. Imagine like a toddler that can climb and has the strength of like an eight-year-old human. That's basically what you're dealing with when you're trying to raise uh, a baboon. And I imagine a mandrill as well. They'll rip the diaper off and sling it at you. Jump on your head, bite your... Anyway, I don't want to get too much of a tangent. I got my... Uh, cleaned up my guy. I put in fur patches uh, to kind of represent the fur patches he has and, and to have shapes to color. I tried to isolate, you know, the red and blue areas in well-defined shapes so people can go in there and put the colors in. And I started roughing out what I wasn't sure how I was going to do my background as always. But I wanted to kind of Complement that uh, leaf shape, that tree leaf shape of his overall head. Started making some shapes with the double symmetry and saw something I kind of liked and decided to try to go at it a little slower, a little more controlled, keep it a little cleaner. I don't want to get too busy, but I still want to have shapes for people to color, and uh, I thought that looked good, we tried to get rid of the um, lines in there, and things started just freezing up. Luckily for me, I, I always get in the habit of, you know, once I feel like I got some place pretty solid, I hit... Uh, the shortcut key, hot keys for saving. It's Command S on my keyboard. I don't know if it's Alt S or on. You know, I have a Mac. But uh, I suggest if you're getting into this, learn the hot keys for saving and just kind of do it. And you know, whenever you do a little something that you don't really feel like redoing, because things crash. It's just, a, it's just the way it goes doing digital stuff. Got laggy. I got these weird alerts on the bottom. It wasn't listening to what I was saying, but eventually I just kind of walked away, took a breath. Watch football live and cable and it free. The best way. Shut to down. Television. YouTube TV. Try it free. Instead of updating, I thought I was going to keep that background and be able to just kind of start where I left off. But uh, that wasn't the case. I'll fast forward. Closed it, opened it back up, there we go. Whoops. Well, there you go. And I uh, just had to redo the background. Luckily, it kept, you know, kept my clean up, which is nice. And now that I do these screen caps, it's not the end of the world. Like, if I don't want to completely start over, which sometimes is better. Sometimes you end up, when you redo it, it turns out better. But sometimes you never do catch that initial magic. Your just mind isn't there. And with the screen caps, I can at least, you know, screen cap it, pull it in, and just, like, trace over it. Just double clean up. But uh, all I had to do is redo the background, which isn't too hard. And uh, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you can.
came here from the coloring book, assuming this all goes, assuming I, I'm able to get all these, because I'm going to open this back up, and it's been a while since I actually uh, saved them just as JPEGs, but go back and try to catch up on the ones that I haven't saved, just in case this file is getting so big and buggy that it decides to crash. But, um, I almost skipped it this week. That, that was like how I felt last time. I think it's, I'm coming upon a trend. I feel a little crummy during the day, but at night, after I do my drive and I get second winds, and I want to make sure I do at least one a week. I hope I'm not putting in my, my foot in the mouth, but hopefully I'm going to be able to do two a week to try to get this thing completely out and available before Christmas. Have at least like a month or so in November where I can try to push these books in my car. Hopefully have my uh, Etsy uh, page set up. Anyways, that's enough. Thank you guys very much. I hope you enjoyed the vid. Thanks for the click. Y'all take care. Have a good one.